And good Thursday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 Meteorologist Patrick Ellis for your ENC weather update for this April the 11th, 2013. Watching some storms back off to the west, really starting to outbreak a, uh, a, a widespread severe weather uh, problem across the Tennessee River Valley as well as Alabama, Georgia, and Middle Tennessee. Now starting to transition into uh, western portions of the state of North Carolina. We'll be watching that tonight. But as far as what we're expecting uh, for this evening, nothing as far as rainfall is concerned this evening. You should be able to get out and about if you're going to go to dinner, go to a movie, anything like that. should be fine tonight. But we'll transition tomorrow morning. Things could be a little bit uh, nasty across eastern North Carolina. Big time cold front about to make its way towards the area. The Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma has gone ahead and issued a slight risk for severe weather across eastern North Carolina going into uh, your Friday. Uh, main threat being damaging winds uh, in excess of 50 to 60 miles per hour potentially. Now as far as tornadoes hail are concerned, uh, they're both low end threats but they are not zero. So we want to emphasize that they're not zero but they are low end. Uh, so that's what you can expect going into tomorrow. This system is going to be a slow mover. It's going to progress slowly into the area. I think tomorrow morning uh, starting at about 5 6 o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see some showers start to outbreak across the east. Actually, we're starting to see some showers down to the south and west of us into South Carolina that are uh, showing signs of uh, getting kind of nasty down there. Uh, they are moving off towards the north. I think the Piedmont would be the most affected areas with that, uh, that batch of storms, but I wouldn't be surprised if one or two of them make their way into eastern North Carolina. The main batch holds off until early on Friday morning. You need to stay with, uh, be weather alert tomorrow, especially because of the fact that it's going to be one of those things that we could see one or two rounds of storms coming through the area. All indications bring down the storms that are currently ongoing. They bring down intensity through the morning time hours uh, thanks to diurnal cooling. That's going to allow for the heating of the day, the, uh, the instability from the, the atmosphere and the lower levels to escape back into the upper atmosphere. So that keeps us from seeing any sh nasty storms tonight. But tomorrow, a different story, especially if we see a little bit of sunshine uh, through the afternoon hours. That's the time frame I'm really uh, concerned about, is if we see uh, some sunshine through the afternoon hours. You, you're thinking to yourself, okay, you're saying the storms are going to come through early in the morning. The reason why I'm saying that is because most of these storms are prefrontal. The actual frontal mechanism, the cold front, is actually behind most of these storms. So you're going to have this prefrontal band of storms come through, maybe kick up some winds uh, tomorrow morning, but then we still have to go through the cold front. Uh, the issue with that is if we have some sunshine, temperatures are able to warm up into the 70s and 80s. I've got 79, the high temperature tomorrow, and dew points will be in the 60s. Uh, so we'll have instability, we'll have, we'll have moisture, we'll have the frontal boundary to be the lifting mechanism. It's whether or not we have the instability from the surface. And if we have some of that, we could see some strong storms uh, moving in through the afternoon hour. So it could be a one-two punch for us uh, tomorrow as far as that's concerned. So you might have storms to start off your morning, take the kids off to school, take the kids to the bus stop, you heading to work, and then getting them home and getting yourself home might also be an issue as well. So be weather alert all through tomorrow as far as that's concerned. We'll keep you guys updated on Facebook, Twitter, and WNCT.com. You can download the WNCT app on uh, from the Play Store, uh, the Google Play Store, or the App Store, the Apple App Store, uh, to stay ahead of that as well. We have our live streams on there that you can uh, watch the live streams. I, if anything happens as far as a severe thunderstorm warning is concerned, we'd be on the live stream only. If a tornado warning does come in effect for any portion of eastern North Carolina, we are on uh, WNCT and also the CW. Uh, so we want to give you guys that vote of confidence that we will be there for you guys throughout this entire event. Hope And most of this will be on Attic here by about, uh, we'll say about 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Most of this should be offshore. Uh, and we start the clearing process. Looking very nice for your weekend with temperatures in the middle 70s for the most part. So expect that for the weekend. Mostly sunny skies, very nice conditions. We'll transition to Monday. A chance for a shower in the forecast. And the reasoning why the GFS and the European model both showing a little low pressure center trying to get its act together right off the coast. It depends on how it tracks. We'll 
depend on how much rain we get. If we see it track a little closer, we see might see a little bit more rain. But at the current time, it's a low end threat as far as the rain is concerned. We're not expecting any severe weather out of this system by any means. Uh, just some uh, light showers at best and mainly for the afternoon hours of Monday. We transition to Tuesday. We'll keep it with mostly cloudy skies, maybe clearing through the afternoon hours. So we'll call it a mix of sun and clouds. And then for the rest of the week, looking warm and partly cloudy with high temperatures warming up into the 80s once again. So we'll get a little cool down for the weekend after this front moves through, and then we'll get warm once again. So if you've been waiting for the warm weather, it's finally here. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. And now we're going to be working towards summertime where we're going to see those temperatures soar up into the 90s. Uh, actually, we've seen 90s already this year. I uh, saw a couple areas yesterday hit the 90-degree mark. Uh, across eastern North Carolina. So we are going to continue to warm up here over the next several months. Stay weather aware tonight and uh, tomorrow especially uh, with these storms that will be moving through the area. Once again, not expecting a huge major outbreak. Not going to be April 16th by any stretch of the, uh, of the, uh, of the event. Nothing like that. Uh, if anything, just a slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms that could be severe. Uh, the main threat is, once again, I, uh, with uh, wind gusts in excess of 50 to 60 miles per hour. That's about it. Low-end tornado threat, low-end hail threat. We'll keep you guys updated on WNCT.com as well as on television and on social media. Y'all have a great evening. Uh, stay safe out there tomorrow, and God bless.